Greetings ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, I am Zach and today I'm going to be giving you all my thoughts on the new Netflix film Between Two Ferns the movie written and directed by Scott Ackerman and starring of course Zach Galifianakis. To start, basically if you liked the web series of the same name there will be a lot about this film you'll enjoy. The film is at its best when Galifianakis is awkwardly interviewing various celebrities. It's also fun to see which celebrity will show up next, and there are a lot of fun ones in this, ranging from Matthew McConaughey to Gal Gadot. Galifianakis does a great job adapting his persona from the web series and plugging it right into this feature-length film. He's rude, uncomfortable, oblivious, and it's enjoyable if you're into that kind of humor. I read that you might quit acting and just disappear. Where did you read that? Right here, I wrote, I wrote it down. One of the questions you may have about this film going in is, how are they going to make a movie about a short-form internet talk show? The answer is, they create a narrative that is both at times way too contrived and way too absurd at other times. For example, there's a point where their studio floods to the extent that everyone is underwater like it was deep blue sea or something. It was whack. Will Ferrell is also in this because he's the founder of Funny or Die, the company that produces the film. He plays a caricature of himself, and it was really strange and out there. I, I didn't hate it, but it definitely wasn't his best work. He's had a bit of a slump in his career lately with Holmes and Watson and other uninspiring films. I sincerely hope he rebounds because I absolutely love some of his older movies like Anchorman. So... I found myself not really caring about any of the characters in this movie, nor the story. His production crew kind of travels around with him for the whole movie, and they're all fairly annoying and just react to Zack's antics or tell him how to feel without really adding anything. I just really only wanted to see who Galifianakis would interview next and what kinds of terribly awkward things he would ask. On a side note, stay for the credits. They, they play bloopers from the various interviews, and it's fantastic. Really funny stuff. As for more technical things, the camera work wasn't anything spectacular. The whole film was framed around the fact that there's a documentary being filmed about the show, so the movie begins as a mockumentary, but it mostly abandons that style once the narrative gets going. In the end, Between Two Ferns, the movie is a decently well-done comedy. It doesn't do anything exceptionally well, and it doesn't break any ground, but it does pick up right where the web series left off, and it's true to form. The narrative story is pretty uninspiring, but it was a lot of fun watching more Between Two Ferns. I don't feel that this film was entirely necessary, however. They could have just made Between Two Ferns a Netflix series, and it would have been great, but maybe Galifianakis didn't want to do that. But I imagine it's tough to build an interesting and convincing narrative around a talk show web series, so I'll cut them some slack on that front. I'll give this movie a... So if you want to check it out, it's available on Netflix. If you don't know what Between Two Ferns even is, I recommend checking out some of those on YouTube first before you watch the movie. Anyway, thank you for watching, folks. Leave a like or subscribe if you wish. It's totally up to you. I am Zach, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!